guys um it's me diana and today i am going to be uh doing my protein recipe my dirty chicken um protein recipe i'm trying to get caught up with all my videos and um answering questions and i have about eight recipes i need to put up i've been being asked uh by valerie to put up this dirty chicken um video so i'm gonna go ahead on and do that and so uh it's fairly fairly easy but this is um, how I like to do my dirty protein uh, chicken breast. And the reason because the reason why I call it dirty chicken is because of the complete seasoning that I add to it. This right here. And the rest of the seasonings that I uh, put on, on it, it makes the chicken look like it's been in dirt. So I've called it dirty chicken. And when you put it all together, it's so moist and it's really, really good. So I'm going to put this recipe up. And sorry it's taking so long, Valerie. But I hope you guys enjoy it if you decide to try it, okay? Okay, I'm going to be using this casserole dish to um, be doing my seasonings and everything with it. So what you got to take it first, you're going to take your chicken breast. And you can get your chicken breast from anywhere. Um, this right here is uh, Publix chicken breast, but I usually like getting a great value one from Walmart. Um because it has a bigger bag and the chicken breast and everything is cut up better. I'm sorry, from um, Kroger. And so, I'm actually going to be using these. I tell you what, let me change pans for my seasoning. And then I'll use that casserole with this. So anyway, using this, and I'm going to have to like, wash my hands really good after I season all this so this is complete seasoning right here you can find this in Publix I wasn't able to find it in Walmart and when I tell you guys this right here is so good on this chicken and it gets all up into the chicken breast really really good I make sure I get it good so there's your complete seasoning. I add a tad bit of the large season salt and my season salts guys, I have different seasonings in this, even steak seasoning. I actually add into this. I don't put this much that much of this on there. I'll add some um, oregano. You guys know I love oregano. I add a little bit of oregano in here. love 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 oregano so you want to make sure all of this is on your chicken really really well and like when i said that the chicken hope you guys can see this looks like it has dirt on it to me well that's how that is so now i'm going to take um this chicken and put it in my other pan okay so I had to rinse out this pan now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you can get your casserole dish any other pan if you're gonna get your pan uh, try to get you a non-stick pan if not, but you know the chicken will make its own um, water and everything too Take your chicken and lay it in here And then from that you're gonna add up add in your cut up onion You want to take it and put it your onions and green peppers all of this guys with this heat is gonna cause all of these vegetables to cook down good don't add it all in there just take it and put it all over it after you've gotten it cut up good And this is my protein. I love it, guys. It gets really, really juicy and tender. Yeah. 
it gets really really juicy and tender and then this is when I add my garlic you want to add the garlic you want to put garlic in there but you want to get garlic juice um, all in here And you guys know I have a thing for cooking with garlic. I have this thing from when I was younger. You know, my grandma cooked it with it. was saying, you know, it helps your immune system and you won't be sick as much and all that. So I cook with a lot of garlic and onion. I know how to put as much in there and then it won't be, um, it won't be, um, so you're going to add some juice in here. And guys, all I do is I add extra water for this. Wait, honey. I add extra water in there. So there you have your dirty chicken. It's actually set up right now. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit better for you. Now your garlic chicken is set up right now. And um, we're going to put the aluminum foil on it. You want to cook this in your oven guys I usually put this in here you can some people well you can put it at 30 minutes or whatever but um, cook this for about 30 minutes I'll leave mine in the oven for an hour so it can get really 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 tender and um, you want to take your aluminum foil and put over it and you want to wrap this good so it can keep all the juices in here And you just want to let it go. Just put it in here. And now you guys see why I call it dirty chicken. And I'm going to put another picture up from how it looked before. And you're going to put it in the oven at 350 for 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, we're gonna be taking this out. Of the oven, it's been about an hour. So we're gonna take this out and see how it looks. Be careful when removing the aluminum foil from all of the steam and heat. When taking it out, you have to probably get like a spatula or something. As you can see, as I was trying with the fork, I mean, it gets so tender. Let me show you. It gets really, really tender that it just it just falls apart, and you can see where it started splitting. So, you might ne need to get you a spatula or some other type of utensil to actually um, plate it. So you can see that and get you some um, other vegetables off of here to eat with it and guys you can actually just eat this all by itself and it is just really really good so there you have it dirty chicken hope you guys enjoy it oh, baby.